welcome back to another episode of Viscosity TV. Here we are at stage seven of the winemaking process for the vintage. And this is our final episode, so I'm gonna talk about the end of fermentation process, and we're gonna evaluate the wine, and we're also gonna talk about what happens next. So what have we learned? We've learned, we've gone out the vineyard, we've tasted the grapes, we've decided when to pick, we've got the harvester out there, he's harvested it, and brought it into the winery. Came into the winery, went in the receival bin, distemmed it and crushed those grapes, put them in the bag press and ended up with juice in the tank. Then we looked at the cold settling process and we did a bit of lab analysis on that juice. Then we had a look at the racking process and the inoculation of the, of the, of the juice with the yeast. And then we had a look at, with Richie, the fermentation expert, that fermentation process, what we're looking for and how long that lasts. So at the moment we're in this tank here, our fermentation process is just about to, well, it, it has finished, so that means all the yeast in there have eaten up all that sugar and converted it into alcohol, and now this is looking like a wine. So what we're gonna do is get a sample of this tank here, take it back to our tasting room, evaluate it, and see where we're at. And for me personally, or other winemakers out there, this has to be the most exciting part of the, the vintage process, because we can really sit down, work out what sort of flavours we're getting and evaluate the vintage overall. So let's get a sample and get cracking. Hi guys, so here we are. We've come straight from the tank. We've got our tank sample here, the cloudy one that's just finished ferment, and we're going to check out what that looks like. Here we are, the current vintage Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, punchy. Those, those, I mean, those aromas are really coming up. There's still a lot of CO2 or carbon dioxide still in there, left over from the ferment, and the yeast produce that as well. They give off that gas. So there's still quite a lot of gas in there, and that's helping lift all those flavours up. <sighs> yep, so we've got those greeny characters, the grassy capsicum flavours there, and also that fruit spectrum, tropical and pawpaw notes, which we saw, remember in our first episode, we saw that bunch, we saw the sun, the sunny side of the bunch had those fruitier flavours, and the inside or the shaded side had that greener, greener capsicum notes as well. And you can see that right here in the glass. Mm. Fantastic, yep. Big punchy palate, lots to offer, great flavour coming in there, and that beautiful leaf. So what happens now? Well, in our next series, we're going to talk about how we go from this cloudy, finished ferment wine into this bottle-ready filtered wine, and then finally into bottle, which you see in your shop. So, on behalf of the Viscosity team, and as me, Dave the Wine Wrestler, we're signing off, and see you next series for Viscosity TV.